Well, the Thanksgiving holiday travel season is kicking off today. Ooh. More than 82,000 people expected to pass through Orlando International Airport just today alone. That's right, and even more expected to hit the roads with cheaper gas prices being found at the pump. New 6's Mark Lehman is at the Florida Department of Transportation Traffic Center hearing how they're preparing for the influx of people. D5 RTMC, this is Larry. What is it that happens here? Absolutely, so this facility is staffed 24-7, 365 days a year. Christmas, Thanksgiving, all those major holidays. It's work that never stops and keeps Central Florida moving. Staff at the Florida Department of Transportation Traffic Management Center are getting ready for the busiest travel week of the year. People here monitoring traffic, dispatching road rangers, working with our first responders um, and other emergency personnel to make sure that we can clear the roadway safely um, and quickly. According to AAA, nearly 3 million people are expected to take a road trip for Thanksgiving. With so many drivers on the road, FDOT and the Florida Highway Patrol are teaming up with a message of safety. How much of an issue is distracted driving? It's a huge issue. In 2022, there was 1,116 distracted driving crashes. Lieutenant Tara Krasenzi says paying attention and watching your speed are two of the most important steps drivers can take, especially on wet roads. Make sure that you reduce that speed so that if those tires hit that wet roadway, you're not involved in a crash. But even with all the safety precautions in place, sometimes car troubles happen. That's where the Road Ranger program comes in. These trucks have all the tools necessary to help stranded drivers and get them back on the road. Whether they run out of gas, need oil, water, or are involved in a crash, uh, they can call Star 347 or FHP um, and we'll send those road rangers out to assist them. And if work is happening on the side of the road, it's important for drivers to do their part when approaching those situations. We want to make sure everyone gets home, so it's really important that you move over. And if you can't move over, you need to do what the law says and travel under 20 miles an hour, the posted speed limit. In Seminole County, Mark Lehman getting results, News 6.